Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video. And this one is a quick video, interesting topic. These are two things that might just save your La Luna tax. Um, there are some common ways you can fail, and these are two little tricks that both came into play in the war against WHF. Both of them done by Red, this is a uh, Kevin, and I was kind of the person talking him through these attacks to some extent, uh, helping him plan, and uh, I think both of these were recommendations I made, and it was funny how they, they happened to apply um, and work out very nicely for him. So you guys will see what I mean in a moment, but these are two things that will possibly save your La Luna attack from failing. And you guys, I'll let it be a cliffhanger. Let's see what happens in this attack, and you know, you'll know it when you see it. So this is a queen charge La Luna attack, and um, it's a very, a very dense part of the base that's being charged. A lot of point defense, great warden's ability here. Um, this is something that you can only uh, experience. Town Hall Eleven knows when to use the warden, when to use the queen's ability. Use the warden because the healers were targeted, the warden himself was being targeted, the queen was targeted. That's when you want to use the Warden's ability, when you're protecting multiple things. Saves the Queen's ability for when it's just kind of uh, just her that needs that, that help. So anyway, Queen moves in, he'll pop the ability here. Uh, loons are going through. And you'll notice the Lalo, I mean, it's solid Lalo, but it's an awkward way to come through the base. I wasn't a huge fan of the Lalo pathing. And um, the balloons are just going to start to thin out. Lava Hounds are pretty much finished here as this last one pops. But here's something that we often don't think about. If you're doing a queen charge and your queen dies, I mean, when else are you going to see up to 70 troop space just sitting there in the base not doing anything? That's five healers we're talking. Now, in this case, I think there's only like two or three healers still alive at this point. But you can get some use for them. If you're running low on balloons, they're getting targeted. Let's see what I mean here. Heal, Rage, um, nice spells here, awkward pathing for that last air defense. Um, right here, notice that wizard. Drops the wizard, not for cleanup necessarily, but to draw the healers across the base to soak up air traps, and even more importantly, to tank for these balloons. It's, it's crazy, the timing was so nice here. Also a baby dragon I think he forgot to drop earlier. Goes ahead and puts that down. Watch these healers cut across. Both of them are going to tank these archer towers. First one dies right here. The timing could not be better because the second one starts tanking right after that. And, you know, that's a solid five shots from each of those three archer towers. And if you look at it, only like two balloons are left up at the end. Maybe just one almost. Yeah, this last... Yeah, I think it's literally just one balloon that was still alive at the end of this attack. So those healers made the difference. That is the first point. Specific, I know. But if you're doing a queen charge Lalo, or even something else that involves a queen charge and maybe some kind of air troops on the back end, those healers don't stop getting you value when uh, when your queen dies. You can lure them across the base. Now, an archer won't do it. You need a little bit more than an archer, a wizard, a wall breaker, I guess two archers standing next to each other, anything that has like a two troop space or above in a small area. That'll do it, so keep that in mind. Uh, crazy how that attack worked out. Um, and then this one is a little bit less, I guess, crazy. It's uh, not really an adaptation, but it's something that people really should consider doing because we see, um, especially in Town Hall 10, maybe not as much. There's less defenses. Uh, doing a skeleton spell on the queen is more doable, but Town Hall 11, Town Hall 12, especially if it's like a mass Lalo, there's so much going on, sometimes it's hard to kill the queen. And the skelly spell is somewhat unreliable. I mean, splash damage, uh, infernos, especially if they're on multi, they're not in this case, but they can be. There's just so many factors that can take them out. The queen can jump the wall you might want to consider a more reliable way to kill the queen. This isn't for anything but a Sui Lalo, I'd say, um, because you need enough hounds, enough balloons to otherwise justify it. Um, but if you're willing to spend a little bit of troop space to get the insurance, 
it's going to be worth it here. And what I mean, I made a, uh, I think this was mentioned as a tip in a video maybe a week ago, but I want to show this again because it's a very underrated thing to do. I'm talking a CC dragon in your battle blimp. So let's just pause for a moment. The way this works is inside the battle blimp, you have three balloons and one dragon instead of just like seven balloons. So the idea is that the battle blimp's not going to be the, like out in front too much. It's going to be in there so that it it uh, deploys along with everything else as it moves through. So you, it, your dragon won't get destroyed as soon as it comes out. And under rage, especially if you have a rage in that area, which you might have anyway for the skeleton spell, um, and also for the balloons, you can take out the queen very easily. You can also take out CC troops if you if it's you know it might be a small CC if this is a fresh hit. You can do that as well. In this case, the CC came out, but depending on the attack, you know, it might be a small CC. There might be air skellies. So now we have all these different factors the dragon will lock on to beyond just the queen. And um, it's a great thing for fresh hits or for cleanup hits if the queen's pretty well protected by bomb towers and stuff. You'll notice the skelly spell I don't even think has dropped yet, but that dragon goes in there and just like two, three puffs, the queen's dead. Um... And the dragon is not, it doesn't finish there. It's going to take out air skellies. It grabs a few, I think, there, if I'm not mistaken. And then it helps with cleanup. It grabs defenses. Um, the important thing is that you get it inside the base where the queen is. Um, it doesn't deploy outside the base. And also, it doesn't deploy, like, without any tanking. You can't have, like, air defenses, inferno towers, everything bearing down on that dragon. It might still get the queen, but it's not worth it if it's just going to be destroyed immediately. So you kind of want to have it mixed in with your hounds, with your balloons, kind of like a, a secret dragon just sneaking in there, killing the queen, and as you can see, picking up some great value for cleanup as well. Not the best cleanup troop, but it's, like, better than balloons, I guess you could say. So anyway, that is it, guys. Um... Good job to Kevin with these two attacks. Uh, very nice six-star war for a Town Hall 11. And, um, yeah, the, it's just funny how, uh, especially that healer trick, luring the healers across the base. I mentioned that to him, like, earlier in the day, and it just so happened it applied to his attack. We had a good laugh about it. And, um, yeah, the more you know each day. So keep these two tips in mind. Might just save your Laloon attacks. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bisectatron out.